Alrighty then. That's right, I made you wait a few seconds before I said anything. We got places to go, things to do. Go back to the parking lot for a second. She's still here. We're gonna run. Go to the police department entrance. Phew! We're finally here! Why would they put the detective so far away from the prosecutor's office? That took almost 30 minutes by taxi, and traffic wasn't even that bad. This is my first time to the police department, actually. Hold on, what's that? Disturbing! Why does it undulate like that? Oh wait, I know, this is the Blue Badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. He scares small children. Wow, Mr. Wright, you know a lot about the police department. Still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger. Uh-oh, he noticed me. He sure is running over here fast. <coughs> hey, pal! What are you doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? What? Um, well... Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey! I'll have you know I'm a very busy man, pal. No, you're not. You're never busy. I'm surprised you still have a job, honestly. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. You'd better not agree to defend the suspect in this case. Uh, well, why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed to the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and she killed him. But what if she's not telling the truth? Yes, well... No! Come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But, but what if the evidence was faked? Hey, pal. Can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Why is this little girl so peeved at me? She's a relative of the suspect, Lana Sky's sister. Whoa! The chief prosecutor's little sister? Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically! Dun -dun 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 -dun. Yes, sir! Oh, by the way, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like faked. Huh? It's just... it's a sensitive issue with us these days. I wonder why. So, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Me? Oh, well, nothing, really. They kicked me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean, this time? Then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. It's true, we've never had a chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being led into criminal affairs now. The lowest ranking guy in there is our chief of detectives. They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't that a little odd? So anyway, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down pat. Um, isn't there anything else you could be doing? The chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall is assigned to the underground parking lot. Officer Marshall? Now that I think about it, Emma did seem to know that Marshall guy. A patrolman in charge of a crime scene. It's unheard of, pal. I don't think we can really present anything to him. Uh, let's present... I don't know. Let's check things out. Yeah, here we go. Um, Detective Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal. This is a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. It's people like you that get me into so much trouble all the time. Me and Detective Gumshoe must drop his card a lot. Hmm, let's see. Bruce Goodman. Goodman. Sounds familiar. Nah, my mistake. But don't you work together with him in criminal affairs? Whoa, now I remember! Bruce Goodman! He's the victim! That's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Alright, we did have to show him that. Cool. Hooray for guessing about things we don't remember. So, this ID card belonged to the victim? He was a te detective like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Hmm, don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transferal for a case he handled two years ago. Evidence transferal? Mr. Edgeworth mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but... Word is that Chief Prosecutor Sky called him out there to the parking lot. Lana's confessing as much. 
Alright, I don't think we have anything else to show him, but let's go ahead and try showing the trophy, I don't know why. Hey, that's it! That's the King of Prosecutors Award that Mr. Edgeworth got yesterday. Were you at the award ceremony, don't you? Of course, pal! I got an award for diligence myself! Ah, congratulations. I was wondering, why is the award a shield? And why is it broken? Oh, there's a reason. Um, I'll tell you what it is later. Apparently he's forgotten. But I was proud of Mr. Edgeworth for winning that award. He's even got naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Yeah, we've heard about the rumors. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Oh yeah, we're supposed to be investigating. I forgot about that. I was Edgeworth, 1712. This is dated the day of the crime. Murder took place three minutes after Edgeworth parked his car. If only he was held up at a couple extra red lights. He wouldn't have been caught up in this whole affair. Perhaps. Just goes to show you, you never know what'll happen when you run a yellow light. Okay, so there's nothing about that, right? Yeah. Okay. I, I forgot we could do this. Um, he's just gonna remark that it's broken. I don't think Edra's knife has anything on it. This must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edgeworth cut himself peeling an apple. What's Edgeworth doing with a knife like this, anyway? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roughing it in the wild. Edgeworth in the wild? I think my fruit peeling theory is more likely. Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoorsman. <laughs> really? No, there's a scary thought. I doubt that highly, lady. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Unless there's something... I can actually examine my attorney's badge. It's pretty good. Okay, name and ID number are written here. Detective Bruce Goodman, ID, blah blah blah. I wonder why they only use numbers for ID. What else would they use? Letters, silly. They're the reason we have a written language in the first place. True. Detective Bruce Goodman. ID? <laughs> Y-A-B-A-D-A-B. Yadabab. See, wouldn't that be better? Yabadab? Well, it does have a certain ring to it. Exactly my point, tee hee. It doesn't take much to amuse her. I dislike you, Emma. I'm sorry, I do. You're both smart and stupid at the same time, and, and you get dumber. I don't know how, but but you come back in a later game and you're you're dumber. I don't know why. Stop. Please. Alright. Wait, hold on. I nearly forgot. Let's examine the stupid badger. Uh, I was wondering about that. What, the dancing blue badger? It's my masterpiece. You made this detective come shoot? The chief too threw together some designs, and I just did my thing, pal. N nice work, I think. It's battery powered, so it can go anywhere. There's no switch, so it just dance, dance, dances until the battery's high. Poor blue badger, fated to dance until he drops. So we got the blue badger. Why? Well, you'll see. Uh, oh, we can't go inside yet. So I'm missing something. I hate when I'm missing something. Especially during an investigation. I always forget what it is. Maybe, wait, can I examine the door? The detectives in there look pretty busy. Just imagine, right now, behind those doors, a police drama in action. Somehow the thought fails to excite me. Okay, I don't think there's anything else that we can... Unless, wait, the usual wanted posters are hanging up on the bulletin board here. Do you know this face? If you do, dial 911. You know, Mr. Wright, I've always thought it was kind of funny. I've never seen anyone who looked like the people in these posters. They hardly even look human. She has a point. Wait, let's inf examine these dudes right here. Look, that patrolman is saluting the other guy. He must be a detective. And then I said, hey, you do that, your soup will get cold, buddy. Th that's hilarious, sir. I laughed so hard I cried. I guess he wasn't saluting. He was wiping tears from his eyes. They make a good pair. Okay, so there's nothing here that I can remember. Alright. Let's present more stuff to Gumshoe. See what happens. Found in Mr. Edgeworth's car, stabbed with Mr. Edgeworth's knife, huh? What would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Oh, wait, I didn't mean... I mean, sure, of course someone else really did it. Someone who must have, um... Someone who must have a grudge against Mr. Edgeworth. The car and the knife do seem a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. What could have happened? We have to find out a little more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Uh, wait. I think... Yeah, okay. <laughs> He's in a tough spot again. Again? Wow.
Well, it all started with the murder of that defense attorney, Hammond. But Edgeworth was found innocent. Listen, pal, there have always been rumors about Edgeworth. Forging evidence, making deals with witnesses. Nothing outright, but there are always whispered rumors. Ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting. But, but there's no evidence against him. Well, Mr. Edgeworth has always had unusually strong ties to the department higher-ups. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I had no idea he was under the gun. Anyway, this latest case has started a new rumor. People say the only reason he took this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor position himself. W what? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Mr. Edgeworth is biting the bullet on this one. He's doing this for all of us. And that's all I know about that. I'm not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Detective Gumshoe? We met the guy who is. What was his name? The guy in the parking lot? That'd be Officer Marshall. He was appointed directly by the Chief of Police. Officer Marshall? Is he some kind of Wild West Sheriff or something? No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer. From West LA. For a moment there, I wasn't sure. Look, pal, let me try and make things a little easier for you. Show them this, and they'll let you examine the crime scene. Maybe. Alright. I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Just act like you're supposed to be there, and nobody will look at you twice, pal. Alright, thanks, Gumshoe. We could use this. Let's go back to the underground parking lot. Hopefully, uh, creepy lady is gone. Angel Star. Looks like the investigation is still going. I'll have to be getting back to the shop. Sorry, looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. I'll see you in my dreams tonight then, baby. Oh, still here? Uh, h hello. Why the surprise looks? Didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs, too. What happened to the security guard? Hey, what's wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that's lost a turd. What? Oh, right. Jake Marshall. Strange guy to put in charge of a crime scene. Do, 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 do. There's something I wanted to ask you. The scene of the crime. A cold grave for men who've lost their dreams. And me? I watch over them as they sleep, dreaming of the desert's harsh judgment. He's asleep. Well, should we show this hopeless case something to catch his interest? Alright, so we can't talk to him. We gotta... Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I warn you. Fan letters to me go right in the spittoon. It's a letter of introduction from Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Gumshoe? Ah, that old cow dog. Hmm. He holding a birthday party or something? Huh? Look, where it should say letter of introduction, it says invitation. Ah, uh, I think he just miswrote it. Great, Detective Gumshoe. I owe you one. No worries. This proves it's from Detective Gumshoe. Better than a blood test. Guess I'd better let you in, then. Th thank you, Officer Marshall. Officer Marshall isn't a detective. He's a patrolman. That reminds me of something. That is odd. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or higher? Well, folks, the clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. Be like the settler. Strike out for lands unknown. Manifest destiny. Let's have a hootenanny. Note to self, police investigations are like settling land. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? I say I won't be needing this anymore. Crumbled and discarded onto the ground because we're common litterers! Alright, let's talk to Marshall now. Now that we can. Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? Good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Um, could you be a little more specific? Bruce Goodman. He was a detective, right? Well, well, aren't you a feisty doggy there now? Detective Gumshoe was... Whoops. Detective Gumshoe was stabbed here at 515. Yes! No, Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 515. Smiling Madonna told me the tale. I think he means the witness, Miss Angel Starr. One stabbed to the chest, a fine piece of work. This here is the autopsy report. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? Funny you should mention that, Bambina. Chief Prosecutor Sky and Detective Goodman had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common? They apparently worked together on a case a few years back. So there's no motive. Goodman wasn't a particularly gifted detective. 
That's one reason he didn't do much work with the chief prosecutor. My sister called the victim here on the day of the murder, right? Here, to this parking lot? So it seems. Like calling an unarmed man to a shootout at high noon. Let's talk about you, Marshal. Why are you such a weirdo? Um, I don't mean any offense, but... Officer Marshal, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective. You call me out? They shoot you for that in Texas. Huh? Yeah, I was one of them fancy shoot detectives till two years ago, to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. But you're a patrolman now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short on hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. That's odd, though. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do. Nothing important, at least. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's because he runs with that Edgeworth, eh? Edgeworth? That cow dog's been kicked out of this cattle run by order of the chief police. Just he don't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of the investigation? Huh, that's strange. Alright, well let's go check out the... Let's check out the stuff now that we can. This looks like a cell phone. Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. I can't think of anyone else it could belong to. What's so scientific about that? Should we check it out? Check it out! Right, let's check it out. Why can't I do this myself? Check it out then. Man, what a boring strap. What's wrong with it? Everyone has different tastes, you know. Here, check out mine. It's a pink princess strap. These are hard to come by, you know. I see he's as popular as ever with the kids. Alright, well, let's open this thing, shall we? Hmm, the display is still on the redial button. Redial? Um, Mr. Wright, most phones keep a record of all the calls you've made and received. You just press the blue button to dial the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to disappoint you, but even I know about things like redial. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just you never know with people from your generation. I'm not that old! Whatever, let's check this phone out. Why does everyone say I'm old? Now I wonder who the owner of this phone called last. Note to self, a defense attorney doesn't think first, he just pushes the button. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. Hey, that song, I know that. Hey, what's going on over here? Ah, oh, so sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed redial on that there phone, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Whose phone is this, anyway? It was on the ground over there. Whose is it? That belongs to Chief Prosecutor Sky. What? It's my sister's? She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. Look, that last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was fixing to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds according to this. Who did she call? No idea. Sorry, partner. Now I got a question for you, partner. I heard a phone ring just now. One of those newfangled ringtones. Oh, that? Oh. I'm sorry, that was my phone. Wh what? Your phone? Yeah, it's kind of strange, but someone called me right as we picked up the other phone. A wrong number. I hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. Uh-oh, I've incited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. Okay. So, phone stuff. Apparently my battery's low. No! I'll have to stop here even though I was planning to. Okay. I thought for sure that was going to be my phone. Oh well, thanks for watching. See you all later. Goodbye. Next, I think we'll probably get to the trial next, if I'm not mistaken. Thanks for watching and goodbye.